Hey, in a nutria. No. I guess this is the director's way to move us along. Yeah. <laughs> Nutria stew, fricassee, <laughs> cacciatore. Mm -mm -mm. Etouffee. Delicious. All right, let's take a look. We had a few showers around, not nearly as much as uh, yesterday, and did, although isolated, have a few downpours. At the moment, most of our rainfall that had been around parts of Old Jefferson, Harahan, now on the West Bank and weakening. Elsewhere, you have to go a little bit farther down into Lower Lafouche, La Rose to Bellamy and uh, Galliano, a little bit of light rain or uh, moderate rainfall at the moment. But most of us have been under sunny skies, or at least mostly sunny skies for the day. But our camera at our transmitter in Terrytown looking at some of those showers, low clouds on the West Bank right now, 91 degrees at the moment and a heat index almost 100. Boy, last days of summer, we just can't shake those 90s. And 91 is our high for the day, although records can get into the upper 90s. So thankfully, not where we were in 2018. 90s in the metro area elsewhere, 80s for the most part. But over the next several days, we're expecting even drier air. Dew points in the 60s right now, making it feel a little bit hotter. Coming up, though, we're going to see a ridge of high pressure building in, which is going to dry us out and also heat us up. So we will stay hot as we continue through the weekend. I don't want to say hot because we've been far worse this summer, but certainly very warm and we will stay very warm as fall begins. Little less humid though, starting on Friday and right through the weekend. And next week we will be watching the tropics, a system possibly getting into the Gulf of Mexico. Here's what's happening right now. Still have kind of a light northerly flow in place. We should see that kind of get reinforced, not really a front per se, but a surge of some slightly drier air on the move for Thursday into Friday. So by Friday, I think it'll feel a little bit nicer, although dry air warms more efficiently. So with drier air means high temperatures, more widespread, upper 80s and lower 90s. May squeeze out an isolated shower or two. Rain chances tomorrow 10, 20% at the most, and then we'll start our drier period. We'll have that stronger northerly flow by Friday and on into the weekend, and actually very pleasant as we wrap up summer, just a little bit on the warmer side. It should be a little bit more comfortable, not exactly the fall feel. Still waiting to find one of those stronger cold fronts. Something we've been talking about yesterday is you got to go up into Canada and Alaska to find the real cold air. And there are definite signs that this air mass, we're going to start tapping into it and seeing it spread across parts of the nation. Uh, but about as far south as maybe the northern plains as these troughs kind of get kicked away from us. So this is going toward the end of next week. That trough with the promise of some cooler air looks like it's going to stay north. So that's putting us towards Saturday, September 28th and no real signs of a real cold front just yet. Out in the tropics, we do have Gordon, which has a medium chance of developing or redeveloping out in the central Atlantic. But the area that we're going to be watching closely still only tagged with a low potential, even though the models have been a little bit more consistent with development. What are they saying? Well, I will say one thing. The euro is kind of all over the place, and there really has been no consistency. The model runs that we have seen consistent are the GFS ensembles, and they are now all saying eastern Gulf and toward Florida. Remember yesterday I was talking about there was a little bit of a definite split. None of the GFS models right now going into the central Gulf all indicating the east. Now, of course, could that change? Absolutely. But what we're looking at is maybe a better idea of the upper steering next week. We're going to have this deepening upper trough and a fairly strong Bermuda Ridge out to the uh, east. And that should be what kind of draws the storm north and kind of makes that turn right into Florida. And again, I say that at the moment with still fairly low confidence because there isn't anything there at the moment that we can track. So computer models will likely keep changing, but it'll be interesting to see See if the euro begins to come in line with the GFS, which has been very consistent. We'll see if that continues. As of right now, no real issues, but as it is starting to fall within our seven day forecast, it is something that we have to watch. Tomorrow, again, an isolated shower chance, dry, less humid, but warm through the weekend. And then as we head into next, we'll be watching very closely what happens in the tropics. As of right now, we'd be on the drier side of that system.